Insults are common in Twitter space, but when they come from a foreign embassy's official account, they take on a different dimension. Little thug and crazed hyena are some of the recent comments by the Chinese embassy in Paris directed at Antoine Bondaz, a China specialist who has frequently taken up the issue of Taiwan. This in addition to a series of threats aimed at French lawmakers to discourage them from visiting the island. The language proved unacceptable for the French government, prompting the foreign minister to summon the Chinese ambassador to the country, Liu Shai. There is no place in Franco-Chinese relations for insults and attempts at intimidation against elected officials and researchers. It's the second time Shia is reprimanded by his host country. Last April, as the embassy waged a PR campaign to praise Beijing's success in handling the coronavirus pandemic, he accused workers in French retirement homes of abandoning their jobs and leaving their residents to die of hunger and disease. Speaking to France 24 a few weeks later, he assumed a much more diplomatic tone. European governments weren't serious enough, in your opinion? That's not what I wanted to say. What, what I mean is that the Chinese government attaches a lot of importance to the fight against this virus. The recent Twitter attacks are the latest example of increasing displays of ultra-nationalism by Chinese diplomats. Its embassy in London has also been embroiled in a row over free speech and Hong Kong. Chauvinism taking center stage. Beijing is now using diplomacy to show its might, in addition to its traditional military exercises and activity in disputed territories. And officially